Alright, so this one is December's crate. is the last crate of December 2015. And I forget what it is. It's, um, Star Wars. It's galactic themed. That's all I remember. It should be galactic themed. It's a little bit more robust than uh, previous year's crate, so hopefully be stuck with some pretty good figures. So let's look here. Yeah, blue crate with a uh, cryo tank down here. This one is interesting. I already see the halo thing down here, but this shirt, this holiday shirt, is pretty cool because there's a satellite. I'm assuming it's Mars and the Earth in the background. There's the planets in the middle. And there's a snowman on Mars with, along with a rover and some spaceships, which I think is pretty cool. Now this oof, is the entire... It's a Halo 5 metal uh, carrying case. In here, which is interesting. And it, yeah, so, and there's the QR code. Oh, this is the Xbox One item code. The supply REQ pack. So, I give me more reason to get a goddamn Xbox One, especially with the holidays coming up, so it'll be on sale. So this is entire thing, it's not just Galactic, it's freaking uh, Guardian and Halo There's space. So let's just take a peek. So this is from previous Loot Crates, the new Crate anime and Loot Pets. Nice. Here's the review, the rewind crate, the play, covert, fantasy, uh, the unite, cyber, the second heroes crate, the second villains crate, summon, time, combat, galaxy, and ooh, every crate in 2016 will include a t-shirt. So that's very interesting. So the Mega Crate, which is an Xbox, no, this is a computer, that's kind of cool. The Shy Show Collectibles, a uh, Rebel Pilot Luke, large tech kit, interesting. And this is an interview with um, one of the... Uh, Drew Wise, Drew Wise, I don't... This is the artist for the ugly sweater. And this is the executive producer for Halo 5. In this month's loot. The Galaxy Button, which is probably in there. Ah, yes, yeah, there is stuff inside. The Han Solo final head. The Christmas sweater. Socks. Patch. The ammo tin box if it is in the weird pack. So there is this is just another thing inside of it. So it opens from here, it opens only from one side, and you roll it out, it's rolling penny thingy. Like any other ammo pack, you have to open it on one side and there's some like stuff, but it looks like it's rotating around here. And so here, Star Wars um, number 86, Han Solo in snow gear, you can see, it's kind of a Loot Crate exclusive with his hair. So the regular would be uh, Han Solo, Princess Leia, Admiral Akbar, Nien Nub, uh, Sidon Thano, and Varmik. And I see he has the Disney logo in with him. 
Now, I'll tell you, since I've watched the movie by this point, that this is from the second half of the movie. The Le Princess Leia should be called General Leia, but she's wearing her Senate uh, attire from the end of the movie. Uh, General Atmar has different clothes because of the uh, resistance. Nia Nub from the uh, original movies. Sidon Iflo, I think, was one of the uh, gangs that um, Han had a depth to. And I think Varkmik was at the uh, bar scene, if you know what I'm talking about, because I don't want to exp sp uh, like spoil too much from it for those who haven't seen it and who are watching my review instead of watching Star Wars, because, you know, it's, it's freaking Star Wars. So, this is the kind of bobblehead that is not one that that includes a its own dis, this uh, display stand, which has some really odd dust from it, which I assume is from here, because you see more of this dust on it, I don't know what the hell that is, but made in Vietnam, there's a Lucas trademark, so you plug this in, there's Han Solo, his uh, snow gear and his trusty blaster, there's a bit of paint bleeding here, it's brown on the gun, the uh, inner shirt seems a bit sloppily applied, there's some dirt marks on here, and he's like my Hulkbuster. He's staring off into the side again. Oh shit! No, I definitely screwed it up. Shit. Okay, whatever, I can't. This is gonna be as best as I'm gonna get it. But, it's still very cool. And see how it shows age with the bags under the eyes, the uh, graying eyebrows, and the much grayed out hair with the uh, Reed Richards kind of thing around the temples of his ears. This very snowy effect, which is pretty cool. And so I believe him over here. So down here we have a another thing by Quantum Mechanics. The Galaxy Quest emblem patch, a Loot Crate exclusive. And this document certifies that this prop replica of the Galaxy Quest trademark emblem patch was created by the company under license from Paramount Ex Pictures exclusively for this Loot Crate. The CAO and CAO of Loot Crates, especially. So this is what um, uh, Tim Allen, um, Alan Ruckman, and uh, Singong Lee Weaver, and other uh, crew members wore when they had their uniforms on, which is pretty cool. And here's still cool. Yes, here is the pen. It's, very, it's gold stars spaceship. So December 2015, Galaxy. That's very nice. And here we have a very nice pair of BB-8 uh, socks. It's long shot socks, like the uh, Groot socks and the Deadpool socks. So it is also 97% polyester and 3% spandex, so it doesn't uh, stretch out on you. It's another Loot Crate exclusive. Let's see if I can open these up.
They don't want to fuck up any of the fabric. This will definitely ruin trying to wear them. Like, do that. Yeah. Okay, so I got it. There we go. Get in. Well, whatever. It's basically, it's a full BB-8. Stretch it all the way down here. It's a bit odd, because it's not round. It has Star Wars down here. Basically, the body stops around here, near the toes. The same design throughout. Right here is the back side of it. So, on your foot, I guess it'll definitely be more round, except it's odd that... Even if he's facing this way, on this side that shows more, there should be more of it here, but there isn't. It's just the end of it, and then there's no end back here, which is odd. Which I, makes sense for perspective, like if you try to freaking wear it. I don't even think if you did wear it, it would make sense. Ow. Well, that was my foot. Sorry, guys. Oh, and it is very goddamn stiff. Ooh. Yeah, it is definitely not for a person of my uh, leg size to do it. Definitely more suited. Like, it does stretch, but I don't think it'll stretch this way very much. So, that is basically it. Surprised there wasn't any Star Trek stuff in here, but instead, Galaxy Quest, which I suppose is a bit of a parody of it. But, um, so basically, this is. Um, the uh, Gal Galactic uh, Loot Crate. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there will be, of course, more Loot Crates in the future, along with the uh, Marvel Collector Cores, which uh, um, I receive every two months. And hopefully, since I did. Uh, subscribe for the uh, full um, year when I get the 12th or the 6th. I don't know, it's every two months. I don't remember when I, I subscribe back in April. April's the 4th. This is 12th, 8th, 4th. Yeah, so in like two more, the Marvel crates, I should get the exclusive. Um, collector's thing from it, so, yeah, I'll explain more about that later, when I get the next Marvel we create, um, so, this is Mofa, see that, saying, see you guys later, may the force be with you, um, and enjoy your holidays.